G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jean Wordle and welcome to a cold, frozen and desolate landscape for the start of a brand new series in 7 days that I'm going to be calling The Blizzard. And the idea here is like, kind of like a sequel, a spiritual successor to Inferno, whereas in Inferno the goal was to not get turned into a sizzly steak by the sun, try not to get set on fire, for The Blizzard it's the exact opposite. The world is frozen. I'm going to freeze. My only hope of survival is to stay around campfires, find warm clothing, and try and save off turning into an ice block for as long as possible. Massive shout out to Kane for tweaking some mods for me and making this possible, but also Sphery, 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 and Zith for making Winterween because I thought if I'm going to be playing in a blizzard, Winterween seems like the way to go. So the whole world is covered in snow. That's about it. I am up on top of a hill. I can see a city just down in the valley down there. So that's probably the way I'm going to head. But the way that this works, the mods that I have running here basically means that whenever I'm around a campfire, it starts a warming campfire buff. And as long as that's going, I shouldn't, sh shouldn't, freeze to death. I've got a torch to try and get myself warm as well, a couple of clothes, all these things to spawn naturally when you start any Winterween world, so that's all good. I've got double slot locks on because you bloody beauty, slot locks are now part of vanilla seven days. That's bloody tippers, did he go and disable those? But I've got a bow and arrow, I'm gonna have to leave my fire and get my torch out and try not to immediately get frozen like the shiny. Other than that, most everything is the same. There's a snowman over here. G'day, how you going? Do you have anything I can use? Are you actually an enemy or something? For, for a moment there, I realized there's a potential that you might ping a snowball at me, but nah, you're all fine. Can I, can I harvest you or something? I do have a snow shovel. Do you actually exist? I don't, I don't really think so. Uh, no, I don't think you do. All right, that's all fine. So other than that, everything's pretty much the same. We're on warring at difficulty, zombies jog during the day. All the normal settings are normally play on with the one change that I have now turned it up to double XP instead of one and a half times. Felt like the 49 day series weren't really getting into like the end game quite as much as I wanted. So going up to double XP to try and push that along as much as I can. Oh, I need to make sure my, oh, ooh. Probably shouldn't go and stare down into crumbly terrain. Uh, let me make sure my torch is staying out. My warmth has worn off. But I still have my uh, my starting penalty protection on for now. But that'll wear off pretty quickly, I think. Speaking of the crumbly terrain, actually, I have been warned that uh, that Winterween has some issues with stability, which kind of makes sense. The whole world is covered in all this snow. There are crevasses and tunnels and caves and death traps all over the terrain, which I need to keep an eye out for and try not to immediately plummet to my death. Fortunately, I'm not someone who has a habit of breaking his leg, so that having long drops in the game should be fine for me. Speaking of long drops, there's a bit of something something going on over there. But I do have some skill points to spend that I want to hold my torch while I'm doing this and spend some points immediately. And I think for this one, something that I haven't done in a very long... In fact, ever. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually got into it for a proper series. Sledgehammers. Normally, if I'm going into strength, I normally go into clubs. I don't think I've ever done a sledgehammer playthrough, so I reckon that's what I'm going to do this time around. I'm going to take one of you. I'm going to take one of cardio, which is in somewhere that I've forgotten. I only have two skill points, though. I only got two skill points. I've already spent both of them. There is no opening quest to do other than go and find the tradie. I thought I had four. Only two. That is a bit of a problem. Oh, that's all right. I thought there was a big gap in the world over here. It's not the world was just generating in. Apparently, trading is down over this way. This is really cool, though. This is... Like, just having the world so buried by everything is actually really bloody cool. Oh, don't fall down a tree well, though. That's a great way to get stuck upside down. So if I'm going into sledgehammers, I'm going to need one of you. These are actually going to be rather difficult ingredients to get when the world's frozen. Are there plant fibers? Are there plant fibers down underneath the trees or something? I oh, that's Trader Jens. That's a church. That's the church right there. Hopefully, Jens waiting for me. Quickly use my snow shovel to get down to the ground level. Because yeah, if I can't get plant fibers, I'm going to be in a fair whack of strife. I've made it all the way down the well, down to the bottom, and it is not. 
looking great for me down here. I can kind of skirt along the car park where like the the guttering has like popped up a little bit in the game is mine. The snow has a gap. So at least I can... Why do you have... Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. So in Winterween, food and things freeze. So food now has a health bar. Oh, that I have to try and keep track of. I'm... Am I... Oh, I'm inside Jen's compound. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me just... I'm a little stuck. I'm a little... I'm a little stuck. There we go. Get back up and out again. Let's go see Trader Jen. Do I have to dig down to go see Jenny girl? I didn't realize I was inside a fence already, but... Jen, you're a little snowed under, love. Just another day in my endless quest to try and impress Jen. This time, I'm shoveling out of her pathway down to her front door. You're welcome, Jen. Still don't have the mustache you seek, but at least I'm doing something for you. Is that about the right level? Well, actually, sure. Oh, there you go. There's the doorway. Down a little bit further. So this is interesting, though. The fact that I can even do this. I've done that absolutely bloody perfectly. The only reason I can do this, this means that there's no trader protection. So that's going to be interesting. <gasps> Plants. Plants. Plants are made of plant fiber. Can I nick some of your garden there, Jenny girl? Can I grab some of you? Plant fiber. Perfect. I need that for my sledgy. Oh, and I can finally repair stuff again. How good. Jen, it's a little nippy out there. It's a little cold, so I could really use a bit of a kiss in the cuddle or something to warm me up after a long and very frigid adventure. Couple of books in the first couple of rooms. A knife guy book. That's not really what I was hoping for. Given I literally, for the first time ever, just specced into the sledges. I never wanted sledgehammer books before, but now is about the time. I can now make pipe bombs. Cheers for that. Uh, I don't have any money on me right now, so that's going to have to wait for a little while. I need some wood. I need some stones. Thank you. And I need some everything. All right. Jen, how you, you doing? Again. I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Literally been shoveling snow just for an excuse to talk to you. So, yeah, now it's probably a pretty good assumption. T1 air supply. work? We expect some air some supplies from our white with our friends from outside, but the undead keep taking an interest in the supplies themselves, most of the time before any of our white river scouts can reach them. Would you mind helping us borrow truth in the supplies? All right, oh, there's new quests in this one. as Try well. To, um, Dude, this is sick. The trader protections may be off, but there's still the invisible force field. Can I, like, beat my way through the door? No, you don't actually exist. Okay, so I still think... I think I still can't get behind the trader to go and grab all the stuff from beyond. Murky waters, I'll... <laughs> I'll take those. This is going to be a time. There's going to have to be so much planning and effort going into just making sure I have access routes in and out of POIs before I can really do anything. And I'm not really one that's great at uh, <laughs> preparing and thinking ahead. Not really my strong suit. All right, well, first things first. G'day, Jen. I'm back again. Don't mind me just passing through. I'm going to use some things upstairs. Going to keep an eye on that. But first things first, I need to actually have some sort of weapon on me. At the moment, I'm just running around with the hopes and dreams and a snowplow. And unlike the supposed bad guy in Home Alone, I don't think this is really going to serve me much of a much of a service. Can I make my way out to like the little huts in Jen's yard? I need to find just a couple of twigs. I've got the stones. I've got the plant fiber. I just need some wood. Huh. It's like a flashback to forever. I'm hanging around with Jen, desperate to get some wood. Not the first one I'm disappointed with it. There it is. There's the hut. I knew it was out of here somewhere. I just had to keep my nose to the snow and keep on pushing. I mean, I could just live here <laughs> for now. Just live with Jen in the secret under there, underground little cabin. Uh, anything good. Anything good for me? Coffee beans. Why should I take those for now? I mean, that's a, a particularly terrible idea. There are no trader protections, but, I mean, I'm underground-ish, so I'm not really going to run the risk of any uh, zombies just uh, happenstancing across my front door. You're made of wood. Thank you. Edging a little bit closer to what I need. You guys are all made of wood as well. Can I pat, 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 pat? You are definitely the king. Lots of doggos in here. That's why Jen's the girl for me. Loves the pups. Anything else? Couple more books. Some reading material for the loo. That's how you spend 20 minutes every time. Some paper. Nothing really else. Come on, Jen. Where do you see your, all your guests? Where's all your chairs? Well, I may as well make the most of where I am. I'm going to chuck you in like that. I don't have... Oh. 
Yeah, okay. Until I get at least like a stone axe or something. Oh, that's good for me. Until I get a stone axe or something, I can't really do anything about the campfire. I can't set it on fire at all. Some cat food that's currently not frozen. A little bit peckish, right? I'll whack it in immediately. I have put some of like my waters and my foods and things into the fridge. <laughs> Don't ask me why in my brain thinking put it in the fridge will stop it from freezing, but any sort of insulation I feel like might be a good idea. I don't know how in-depth this game is going to be, but we're going to find out. Pumpkin, thank you. All right, I need to get some more wood. Did he get some more wood? I can't just punch you to death. Well, now I have you. Stone axe. I have just enough of that, and with that, I can start breaking down these things. And the made of splinters going in my pocket. I've got nine bits of wood. I just need the one more. Sorry, TV cabinet. You're going to have to get sacrificed for the greater good. The greater good. Speaking of, there is the greater good. Stone sledgy. Whip you up. I would like some extra books to make a better one, but for now, this is just going to have to do. Okay, so that's actually a very slow start, but we're finally making some progress. I'll finish you off. It's about there, actually. Might be able to repair you later on and just improve the aesthetics of Jen's little shed. Break down the last of the couch, because why not? And then it's almost midday, so it's time to crack on. I don't know when my thermal protection, like my starting protection, wears off, but I don't think it's too long. Oh, I've annoyed the first of the zombies. My fluids, I'm 69% fluids. All right, nice. Well, I'm going to try and resist going with any sort of power attack. You're relatively okay. You want to come over here? No power attacks, please, Josh. Go nice and quietly. 800 XP per kill. Love that for me. I'm going to quickly beat you to death and take some more wood out of that one. It's, it's weird that just getting the first stone axe was so difficult, but with no twigs and no wood anywhere, kind of makes sense. I can hear some beating over here, which is not a great thing, considering Jen's waiting for me down below. Didn't kill you with the stealth shot, so... Ow! How did you hit me? How did you hit me? Oh, you are angry. Moe's trying to beat down to the love of my life. Moz, can you please not do that? Jen, that's all right. I'll protect you and your honor and everything in between. Stamina's up. Stamina's good. Can I sit? Oh, my goodness. There was a lag spike right as I chose to break my own rule and go with the power swing. Go again. Nice. Sat. Wait for my stamina to come back again. That's the worst thing about the sledges is just how sapping it is. Bonk. Ah, uh, bonk. Nice, Gary. You're gone and goopy. All right, we're okay. We're all right. Jen's nice and safe. If something happens to Jen, I'm just going to go lick a lamppost somewhere and get myself frozen. I've made it to the marker. Though the marker's underground. I wish I'd have brought some extra fluids with me, but I'm shit out of luck on that one. All right. Well, it's just like the first couple of days at Alpha 20. Got to dig my way down to where the marker is. Although... Oh, no, I don't. All right, drop coming in. And I assume it means the zombies will be coming in as well. Look at you. Look at you. The pilot finally learned how to put a drop down right where I actually need it. So when do the zombies show up? I'm sitting here in nothing but white stuff on a cloud of powder, waiting for someone to come and join me. Oh, uh, yep. All right, I'm a little bit nervous about it. I don't like going sledges, dude. Going sledges and the stamina drain, not my idea of a good time. Especially when the fog gets right there. I wish I could just like pepper the parachute with an arrow or something, split it in half so it falls a bit faster. Just sitting here twiddling my thumbs and waiting like a meteor's coming for Springfield. Isn't great. Go faster, go faster, go faster. Grab. Wait for Quest to finish. Come on. What? I can't. Keep airdrop safe, or keep airdrop alive, rather. Oh my god, you're fast. Oh, this is a choice. This is a choice. All right, we're going to go power swings. Sat you down. Please be the only one. Knock your head clean off. Stamina, come back. Oh, I should have brought fluids. I should have brought fluids. I should have brought fluids. I don't like this at all. Oh, I really don't like this. I really don't like this. Um, All right, get a little bit of distance. Going to have to go with the bow. Right there. Shit, I missed the shot. Stamina, please. Don't run out of me now. Go right through the chest. Take my arrow back again. Let the stamina come back and not finish you off. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's one zombie and I'm panicking. I hate sledgehammers. I hate sledgehammers so freaking much. Power attack is everything. Sounds like they're down underneath the snow. 
Let's go. I will finish the quest for you right now. I will strap you on my back and carry you all the way back to Jen. Just get me out of here. The zombies are coming out of the fog. I hate that I can't even see them. I can only hear them slowly but surely coming out of the thick stuff. Straight towards you, please. Yep, that's good. And sit you once. No one else is coming. I'm going to chance another power shot. Nice, Gary. Do you have any fluids on you? I really need some. That'll do. Sledgehammer crafting. Lovely. Thanks for that. And six shotgun rounds. I'm into strength three, so we're probably going to go sledges and shotties. Are we good? Still wait for the quest to finish. I think there's still some more out here somewhere buried in the snow. I don't really want to find out how deep they are. I'm sure they're coming for me. Oh, jeez. Are you like... Are you down there? I don't really want to help you out, but... Ooh, bongs are mate level... Oh, oh my god, I thought I was going to drop in. Alright, I don't know who or what or when you are, but you can cop that right in your lower back like it's a tramp stamp. Get that in. Get another one in. And headshots, maybe? No, stop crawling over that way. Come back over here. Oi! No. Stop. No. I almost, I, I I almost shanked it. I clipped her. Didn't do much. You're the last one. I just noticed it says six out of seven on the top. So that should be it. Enjoy your nice frozen grave. Keep you nice and fresh for the next airdrop to come through. I can now finally grab you for absolutely diddly squat. That's what you sent me out here for, Jen. A couple bits of brass and three bits of lead. Did I already have that? Oh, terrain ice. Can I do anything with you? Can I build with you? I reckon I probably can. I'll use that actually in my tunnel down to my secret cabin amongst Jen's uh, compound. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. All right. If I fall into a crevice and die one of these days, I'm going to be pretty bloody upset. Going to make sure I close these doors. Who knows who's going to fall down the icy slope of death over there. Jenny, how are you? I'm back. Good Another to see you. Another stranger in need. I'm I've got what you're looking for. I've got so much well, need, and you've got long. so much of what I'm nice looking work. for. Uh, ooh. I mean, pretty clearly, that's a no. As much as I'd love Fire First Aid Bandos, a Bonza Bando, if you will, as much as I'd love that, insulating my liners, it seems like a great idea, given that everything is frozen. I'll take you. Any more jobs? I reckon I'm pretty done with the air supply them like digging up out of the snow to chase me that's nightmare fuel plus with the sledgehammer stamina a if a couple of them get out at once i'm in a lot of trouble duh i can't pronounce that word a domicile a no wackers knackers yeah. i'll get right on that but right quick i need some fluids i need a slurp i need to fix up the ground there and get back to my little house it's not my house at all i'm claiming it Oh, uh, would you look at that? So my water has frozen. Water frozen. I'll take you. Turn all of that into water, please. You. So it's just like I just cook it again. All right, fair enough. Get you going and get you going. Find that cooking pot in the kitchen here was a great bloody get. While I'm waiting for you, though, I might actually quickly knock up just some storage. Sure, like two of you. I'm using the cupboards at the moment and they're not doing much for me. So with my insulated liner mod, my warming fire effect is now lasting two minutes instead of just the one it was before. And then I'm holding my torch. That should last even longer uh, again. I'd like to kind of test that. Thank you very much for you. I'll turn you off. You're ready to turn off. I've actually ran out of petrol. Right, so now... It's now under two minutes, but holding the torch, wearing decent clothing, and trying to stay near warm things will prolong that as much as possible. When my when my starting protection just I like, get a foothold so in the snow, when that I wears off, I'm gonna be in myself. all sorts of problems. You can take that off me. You can take that off me. I'll hold on to you. Do you have? In fact, what have you got? Oh, you've got Thanks lots of books, uh, lots of like We're workstations at the back, don't you? Since. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. I reckon, can I stay potentially under the sill of your little church? Get around that way. Yeah, there they are. There they are. And I can take advantage. Was it the cement mixer that always has... Thank you. Always has the guarantee for the workstations book. There's one and some wood. Thank you. Unlocked the Jew collector. Not sure how useful that's going to be, given the whole world is frozen, but definitely need one anyway. Uh, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. Got to dig my way out of everything. There's the cement mixer. I'll grab you for another workstations book. I think I only needed five, it was. Ooh. I mean, surely, like, a shovel. Surely this is just a shovel, right? It's a snow shovel. I feel like that's already doing the job, but thank you. Anyway, so I only need a few more. 
to make the forge. Two more even to make the forge. Jen is selling a couple, but I don't have the dosh to splurge. Was there another one maybe? What's that? That's the forge, the chem station, the workbench, and the cement mixer. No, I think that's all. I think that's all that there was out there. I might have missed a couple up, but I can always come back if I have. I wonder if because, like, you see how these zombies have, like, this blue hue to them? Like, they're pissing out blue shit out of all of their pores. Very bloody dusty. I wonder if fire is more lethal against them than regular stuff. Like, are you... Are you gonna like, are you gonna melt in front of me? Are you like the Wicked Witch of the West or is that just kind of like just regular fire damage? And then actually is like a Chlamydia mod, the Burning Shaft mod. If I grab one of those and chuck it on me sledgy, is that going to give me the warming effects that the torch does? These are all things I'd love to know. I looked away and I still hit him with it. I heard some tippy tappies in the snow over here. There's someone underneath the snow, but that's all good. It's five o'clock. I'm going to push to try and get this job done for Jen. Two jobs in the first day is actually a pretty good rate. This is the place, the Joe Bros Builders Yard. I assume there's like... Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot that's hidden underneath the snow. I think this place might actually have like a couple of... Oh, that looks really cool though. This place might have a couple of cement mixes and things buried below the snow, which I'll have to go and find. But look at this though. Like being up on the second story above the snow drifts, being able to see in just like that. I mean, this isn't really worth anything other than free experience. So catch you later. Is it... Oh, this is the one that... This is the house that's on the truck. I know. I know where I am now. Okay. Tickle you. It's reset the whole lot. I'm going to go and just murder old mate again because why not? G'day, g'day. Can I have a bit of a gander at you? Fire. If I tank on a second. Oh, that was a little bit excessive, but that's okay. Fire through the trash. Completely shanked the shot. Sorry, Nance. Try again. I'm sorry. Do you want to hit any sort of target? There you go. Bonds, mate. Level up. Not my best, but I got it done. The Kruger satchel I need is right there. But that, oh, that's actually the final loot room. I mean, I suppose, actually, hang on a second. If that's the final loot room, like, I still want to go through and raid all of it anyway. But can I just, like, piss off everyone who's going to be waiting for me? Like in there, get some stealthy boys going. Boop, you. And at least I have, oh, g'day. At least I have a pretty easy way to escape should I need to. Use the reach of the sledgy. Finish you off and finish off you as well. Nice. Grab the satchel. I love that everything is snow covered. Everything is dusted with sugar like it's a delicious bloody donut. I'll grab you. Read you. A goo bag as well. It's probably equally as frozen. Was there more waiting for me in here? I'm not sure. But at least now I've done the job. So if I have to skedaddle, I'm not going to fail it immediately. A Magnum Enforcer book. Thank you. Last shot in the chamber does double damage. Uh, you gave me that and you gave me a pipe pistol. Does the pipe... Oh, jeez. Does the pipe pistol still actually apply to, like, the Magnum class? I think it does, actually. Because people were saying that the... I mean, it's a revolver, after all. But, like, the discount you get for holding a Magnum does apply to the pipe pistol, too. So, all right, then. That means you're going to get the double damage of the last shot in the chamber. Does that mean, hang on, so if I only reloaded you, if I went full James Bond spec, the man with the golden gun spec, and only loaded one round into you, does that mean that you would have double damage on that one round? I don't see why it wouldn't reload you with the one bullet there. It's like I'm playing Goldeneye again back on the Nintendo 64. Uh, out you go, there we go. I can go back to the traders. I'll keep that in mind. It might be risky only having the one bullet in it, but we'll see if it works. I know I could have left and just gone back to tradies already, but I want to take advantage of the first couple moments of the series while I still have the protections going. So, I'm going to go another... I've got four points to spend. I'm going to... Someone's breaking snow outside. I've got another point to you, another point to you, so I get the second level of sledges. I'm also going to take... What else am I going to take? What else am I going to take? Do I go, like, strength and intellect and try and push Daring Adventurer? I reckon I probably do, actually. I'll grab you. You're about to hand in a quest. Daring Adventurer is really, really good when you get to the end of it, and potentially pushing that isn't a bad shout. But really, as long as I can get some stamina going and some rewards going, which should be pretty well sorted. Yeah, I figured you were in there. Oh, I hit you right in there, Tinnies. I'll try again. 
It's headshots or no shots. Screw your bloody safety helmet. I'm hitting you with rocks anyway. I can just reach out and touch those doors. There's nothing but laundry hanging out inside it. So that's all fine. This is already the loot room that I've gone through. So this will be, I think, a pretty easy escape from up on top. Ugh, gross. A cowboy hat. I'd rather actually freeze to death. No, thank you. In fact, what are you, what are you, what are you worth to me? You're worth forty-four dollar redos. You know what? Just to send a message, I'm gonna scrap you, tear it apart. Pieces like an alligator just came up out of the drain. No one in you. Cheeky purple bag with another, ooh, another revolver. I could play this. I could play this like it's the pipe shotguns or the blunderbusters is old. If I have a bunch of pipe pistols all loaded with that last round in the chamber, then, I mean, look, that's like quadruple damage out of the two bullets. <laughs> I don't think that map checks out, but I feel like it does. Anyone hanging out in here? No one in that one. Just a bunch of bookshelves. Oh, and vehicle. Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have put a point into vehicles right off the clappers, but I can do that later. Getting all the magazines. I don't even know where I would start. Ooh. Where I would start looking to try and find... Is there, like, is there an attic in this place? I reckon there probably might be. Don't know where I'd start looking for, like, the cement mixer and stuff that might be hanging out down... Oh, my goodness gracious. Down below, that is always going to make me pucker. I don't care how long I'm going to be alive in this series for. Breaking the snow behind me is always going to make me clench just that little bit. <laughs> I'm already feeling very uncomfortable about it. Uh, can I get rid of something that's weighing me down for no reason? Uh, I need you for pockets. Four bites. Great idea. That, in fact, I'm going to put you down here just in case. Two pebbles. I'll repair you. And I'll repair you. There we go. No longer cucumbered. The sun is setting. The snow is falling. It may be gorgeous out here, but it's deadly. I'm going to pull it out my very if small and disappointing gun. Under the weather. I've got just what the doctor ordered. Not because I want to intimidate you, Jen, but Amazing. just because I need to hold I something in my whole little hands that it's good habit to be in. Automatic weapons. Full automatic mode has an increased chance to rag on the end with each hit. I mean, there's an auto shotgun. Does that apply to an automatic shotgun? Or specifically like AKs and tackies and M60s? I, I mean... It's got to be the other pocket mod, right? I mean, look, look what I'm dealing with. I'm, I'm dealing with absolutely nothing. I'll take the pockets. I'll come and get another job off you again tomorrow. In fact, I wonder, like buried yeah. supplies, uh, is, is that going to be underneath the snow or is that going to be like underneath the ground, underneath the snow? Bonds, mate, another level up. I still have my starting protections, which is absolutely bloody sick house. Uh, you. Will coffee keep me warm? I mean, cold resist five. Oh, coffee's about to be everything. For once in my life, I'm actually going to try and start early and not just chuck everything into one big box, but actually have some storage solutions going on. I normally sort things into like food and medical and then ammo and weapons and then random materials anyway. So might as well just get that started right off the bat. You can be... What are you going to be? You're going to be like my medical and food option, I think. So you guys can come out of the fridge. Chuck you guys into there. I'm actually a little bit thirsty, so chuck in before you freeze. And probably actually give me another couple of bits of wood because I need to thaw out my tin of frozen chili. That's the nighttime noise, and I'm now terrified. Not. Oh no. And it's getting cold. It's getting cold. Okay. Turn on you. I need to stay near the fire. I need to stay near the fire if I'm going to have any chance of surviving the night. That, even with... Oh, jeez. Even with the warming fire going for me and my protection, I still got frostbite for a second. I've lost a finger. I'm going to lose more. Are you ready for the most nonsensical thing you're going to see all day? This at the moment... I mean, it's all made out of snow. If it's only breeze on this stuff, it's all going to fall apart around me anyway. But all this is made out of snow... And this is the only entryway in. So I am going to try and barricade the snow entry. It seems like an okay idea in my head, okay? It seems like the right thing to be doing. I'm going to shark you in like that so you pop up on the other side. I'm going to go on face, I think, and get you up on the tippy top or the arrow facing me. So you can go like that. <laughs> yep, that'll hold him. That looks secure as shit. I know it's night time, and I have been somewhat warned about Winterween. A lot of people are warning me that there's going to be all, like, the, the crevasses and stuff like that all over the shop. I've also been warned 
that I need to be aware that there's extra monsters. There's new things in Winterween. It is an overhaul mod. So, and it's not the seven days I'm bloody used to. The Blizzard has rolled in and brought with it a whole new set of nightmares. So even though it's night time and those nightmares are probably out there somewhere, I am going to be brave and scoot along the ground and try and find, there you go, the other cabin. Right, bloody them. A nice straight shot, please, all the way through. Don't mind the lamppost, which probably goes pretty close to the surface. Oh, yeah. This is... This is gonna be a time. Oh, it's not the cabin. I thought there was... A, well, I might be thinking of somewhere else then. I thought there was another cabin. Oh, no, I can't remember my torch. There's someone right above me. I'm just gonna have to freeze for a little bit. I thought there was another cabin here, but nah, it's... A medical tent with... Nothing really in it. It's way too bright in there for me. So I'm going to go back to my little tunnel and crawl back along from whence I came and go and put up in some nice little warm house next to the fire. Kick off me slippers and try not to think about what's waiting for me outside. Oh man, it is so claustrophobic down here. There is someone literally walking on my roof. So I'm going to crawl into the darkest corner I can. Any shadow is a good shadow. Unfortunately, Jen's run up a power bill by leaving all of her lights on. Can I light the candelabra instead of running electricity? That might give me a bit of a better shot. But if someone hears me up above, they're going to tear through this place like tissue paper. And then me, like slightly damper tissue paper. So I don't want any of that nonsense. I'm just going to sit here and cry for a bit. My main problem is going to be at some point my little protection is going to wear out. So... How long do I need you on for to get my fire protection going? I'm, I'm too far away. Oh, I'm too far away. Okay, so if I sit right here and turn you off, that's going to last for a little while. I'm 28% visible. 27% visible. I wish I was a little bit more invisible while I'm in a very well-lit room. That's going to have to do. So you're going to last me... Uh, it's, it's still more than a minute. So when that counts down, I'll turn on the fire a little bit and get my protections back. That's going to be the key. I'm already trying to game the system. That's going to be my biggest key. Just trying to make sure that I have my warming fire at all times. Even if it means like building like campfires around the place and filling it with fuel, running into a POI, trying to campfire down, getting my warmth. But at no point should I be able to go through a whole day without something like this i can i can't nullify the cold i can only delay the cold so i'm gonna have to keep my eye well and truly on that when that goes i'm all sorts of shit out of luck got more than enough snowballs for a fight with the neighborhood kids but that is everything to me you know what actually this is gonna be the this is gonna be the time this is gonna be the first time ever i'm gonna be excited to find a needle and thread book Normally, it's just because I want to make myself the dual pocket mods, which is still going to be tippy bloody top. But if I start finding these where I can actually make some decent clothes, that is going to be toppers. Especially some own puffer coat and all the other things in there that are going to keep me nice and warm. Speaking of, how you looking? 29 seconds. Boop. And a meter goes back to two minutes. Okay. So I'm going to have to really try and save my fuel and not burn it all in one go. Because I want to see how far I can make it in this. It's the sequel to Inferno, which I didn't do fantastically in, if we can say that. But I'm going to have to come back and continue my journey into the Blizzard in another episode. But before I wrap this up, uh, normally I wait two weeks to release the mods that I'm using for these kinds of things. Uh, for this... I'm going to put it out straight away. Day one, the mods for this that I'm using will be down in the description down below so you can take on the Blizzard in your own way and hopefully, probably, more than likely, do much, much better than I will. Once again, though, a massive thank you to Kane and Sphery and Zith for making all the mods that I'm using right now. Couldn't do these things without those guys' fantastic support. So big love to those guys. I'll have to come back and continue my adventure into the cold in the next episode because this episode is... Is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.